and earn your business. she ran out of gas she never does she never forgets that <laughs> oh goodness hopefully that's enough nice she she was really low yeah that's really weird it was nice the truck drivers are pulling way over yeah it's uh Cause it's scary yeah i know yay good old panda yeah she's a toughie okay. it's like <laughs> the gas station right the gas there. station you guys is literally <laughs> right up here half a mile away that's how close we were to the gas station you guys not very far which is a good thing because uh, how much did you, you had a gallon and yeah. she had... We didn't add any of hers. Oh, okay. Because you just have to go right here. Yeah. But we we're that close. <laughs> Don't go, we we're that close. That's why I was telling her, it's like, we usually fill up at the same time and everything. But I was, but I still had three-eighths of a tank. So another viewer has asked us if we have noticed the prices of gas and diesel going up as we are traveling um, and getting into the summer months. Scotty? Um, well, for the most part, I guess since we left, it was like two sixty nine on average, and uh, I just paid two eighty five. So that's not much. Gasoline might vary a little more just because it's always more I don't know it just seems to go up and down more than diesel does uh, you know when I was a kid diesel was half as much as regular gasoline it seemed like and now it's the most expensive yeah. fuel you can buy which just kind of seems bizarre it's the same price as running uh, high test gasoline yeah I my grandmother bought one of the very first diesel station wagons yeah. out there and, and that year diesel started going up yep. because people were buying them so yeah anyways okay oh we've already got gas so we don't need that um okay so that answers that question and we've got a couple more questions but i gotta get into the computer and look at them so we'll get back to you guys all right well scotty's talking to this gentleman he's getting our uh youtube channel's names it's cruisingamerica.com. You can rent these RVs so that you can go traveling. Very cool. How are you? Um, I'm <laughs> I love it. I, I, I've been reading the Amazon boondocking and RVing on Social Security. Oh, and yeah. All, and I've been reading about all the. I, I, I just read. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to do it so bad. Well, watch, watch some of the videos. Yeah, and, you can and watch we, us. We just spent uh, a bunch of days. Yeah. So he delivers these all over the place. So very cool. That's a way to get to travel a little bit. And this is a great way for somebody if you guys want to get out there and explore a little bit to see if you like this kind of living you can go and rent one of these. I have no idea what they cost to rent but I'm sure you can go on their site there or call them and they'll let you know. All right, well, I'll just get in gas and we will get back on the road. Okay, well, we're all fueled up. Um, I already had fuel. Aj is all fueled up. Ran into a gentleman that delivers RV, so I got talking to him. And he wants to get his wife out there and do some traveling and boondocking and everything like that. So I said, well, watch some videos and that'll get her going. Aj is no. leaving us. She's she trying is. to escape again. Okay. And I got a gentleman right behind me, so I gotta wait for him to get out of okay, my way. Okay, we will 
see you guys down the road. Let me know when y'all are ready. We're ready to roll. Okie dokie. close in a half an hour or so we're gonna be quick but I already went in there and talked to John and I uh, kind of have a surprise for Tina so I hope you enjoy this Tina John I'm assuming yes, hi it. John yeah. Yeah. so we'll be quick then okay yeah sure. thank you for letting us come in at I'm such sorry, late oh, time no, here no, no. no this is great so this is what I wanted to this oh is for your mom my gosh. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> Look Have at you this. Been in today? No, but I just came in to see you and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her oh, mama loves those the are thousands of elephants. Well, if you don't already know by now, my mother collects elephants. <laughs> oh, look at all of those. I like the little pink one down there. <laughs> those are cute. Wow. Does it say how many elephants there are? No, that's why I said there's got to be a, over a thousand. Well, there's a lot of elephants. Yeah. All right, so they close in about 20 minutes. So we are going to do a really quick little walk through the museum so that you guys can see it. I'm just going to do a quick walk through and then uh, I'm not going to be able to spend much time like we usually do. This is cute little chapel. Oh, military. World War II. I'll tell you, if you're a history buff, this is quite the little museum to come to. They've got a little bit of everything here. There's a button that probably hardly ever got used. $900. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if that's why it's called a, um, a Class 900. Oh. Right? But can you imagine what you used to buy for nine hundred dollars? I can't even imagine. <laughs> You'd buy the whole store out. Wow. <laughs> so neat. <needed. laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is just so cool. That's big. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> then, you had to... then you had to crank it over <laughs> here. <laughs> and the receipt would come out. Oh, look at it. it has a reel for the paper. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow, that's, that's how they did it back else. in the day. Oh, my grandmother had one of these. We always thought it'd be great if she, if there was a burglar, she could just pick up the receiver and whack him, and that'd take <laughs> care of the burglar. <laughs> and for you, if you if there's any kids out there watching, this is how you did it. You had to dial this to get out. It's called a phone. It's called a real phone, <laughs> not a cell phone. So then you have these, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that transferred to the lovely lady that was always sitting behind the switchboard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Boy, how far we've come from all of this. Wow. Boy, that's a big pan. Look at that. That will feed an army. Ooh, that thing's heavy. Oh, <laughs> What they're baking. 
You'll have to pause this if you want to read it. Okay. Well, so the ranchers could leave their marks on their cattle. Well, how'd you like to have to get around like that? Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, I'm glad we're not driving the buggies. We're going to do the dust bowl experience. All right, and I'm kind of going through here, missing some of the stuff so that John can go home for the night. All right. You ready to go do the Dust Bowl experience? It says, please enter house for dust uh, storm program. Okay. We'll begin when the door closes. Okay. I feel like a tornado might hit. Yeah. <laughs> Batten down the hatch. Seriously, guys. <laughs> this looks like uh, what Dorothy blew away in. All right. Welcome to my home. I'm so glad you made it inside in time. The sky over yonder is getting dark. There's another black duster coming. They come up mighty fast. It'll be dark as night out there in a minute, even though it's only noon. But you're safe in here. There you go. Now scoot in nice and cozy so everyone's out of harm's way. Don't you fret now. That's the dust cloud in the house. That dirt will drift just like snow all around the house and barn and up against our fences. Sometimes the fence posts come loose from all the dirt blowing way around them. And they wave like a sheet in the wind on the end of the barbed wire. Other times, tumbleweeds catch on the fence wire and all that dirt and sand starts backing up. Before you know it, small hills and sand dunes cover the whole fence line. Oh, and that wind. Well, it can feel like a blast furnace when it hits you. We're plenty used to dry heat and wind around here. It's always been that way in the summer. But now it seems like the whole world is blown away. When I was a youngin, you could see the prairie grass waving in the wind as far as the eye could see. If you was to ask me, I'd say we got greedy. Plot up all that prairie grass to plant wheat for the war. Now all the soil's just blown away. The land's always been the one thing we could count on when everything else was a gamble. Now we don't know if the land will ever settle down again, or what'll be left if it does. There. There, it's over now. That was a short one. We've had black blizzards the last half a day or more. I'm telling you, these storms can be pretty scary, but it's the day-to-day -day dealing with all that dust that's trying our souls. The dirt's always seeping in under our doors and windows and any other crack in the house. We try to keep it out by putting the oil cloths on the window sills and between the upper and lower sashes. Some of our neighbors have been sealing their windows with gum paper strips the store uses to wrap parcels. But even caulking doesn't work. The dirt and dust get in anyway and sift into everything. No matter the amount of sweeping, mopping, beating the carpets, there's always more dirt. <sighs> Every towel and curtain is just black with dirt after a bad duster. Even the clothes in the closets are covered with dust. We have to wash them or just wear them dirty. Either way, we take them outdoors to shake them out first. And washing is twice the work it used to be because we have to clean all the dirt out of the boiler and wash tubs before we can use them. I'm telling you, there ain't a clean dish of cooking utensil in the whole house. We have to wipe down the dishes and things before we eat because so much dust sifts into the cupboards. At meals, we sometimes have to hang a sheet above the table to keep the dust from settling down on the food. Even after a duster's over, we have trouble breathing outdoors. Lots of folks are getting sick from inhaling all the dust and dirt. Babies and elderly folk have the worst of it. Some have even passed on the rest of their souls. We were lucky enough to get dust masks to wear outside. Those who can't afford them have to make do with wet handkerchiefs tied over their faces and Vaseline in their nose to keep from inhaling all the dirt. Well, see there? Everything's okay. Y'all cover up your faces now. Be careful out there. Come back and see us again real soon. I'm glad I don't live back. I wouldn't want to have to deal with all that <laughs> dust. It was hard enough going through the dust storm. We went through in the camper and have to clean it out. Yeah. That was nothing. Well, that was fun. Yeah. All right. Well, I think.
that is the end of our Oh, hi. There. hi. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well, oh, yeah, look at that. My goodness. Oh. That just wouldn't be good, would it? Oh boy, I'm glad we haven't been in anything like that. No. Well, I think that we've... Yeah. Pretty. seen what we can see and yeah. I think we need to let John go home. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.